Hello, welcome to Homesteading Northwest Florida. Today is Sunday, September 8th at 5 p.m. And yep, it's getting kind of dark. September is the month where we lose the most daylight out of any. The days just keep on getting shorter and shorter. So I kind of moved everything out onto the patio. It was pretty sunny, and I think it reached about 89 degrees today, earlier. And uh, I cleaned out my old lettuce bed here. And I think because of the miracle Grow, there is some rust in this galvanized bed. We'll see how things take. And uh, this is co fresh compost with a little bit of perlite added. And oh, at the bottom, the bottom of this uh, galvanized container from Walmart was rusted out. So I put two layers of quarter inch hardware cloth at the bottom. Like not all of it was rusted, but soil definitely would have been coming out. And that I have on a dolly so it can be moved. Anyhow, got some seedlings started here. I believe in this larger pot is the lettuce, red fire lettuce, other stuff going on here. I think I got some Brussels sprouts in there. We'll see what happens, what they look like. I got some, some lemon <clears throat> tree seedlings. And those, that's going to be in a larger pot eventually and uh, be brought inside during the winter because they always get nipped and they don't like the winter neither do I got a nectarine tree here grew from a pit and that uh, likes chill hours so and then we got four apple trees Macintosh a uh, few pepper plants we'll see if this had these uh, peppers still have enough heat to start producing they're getting bigger uh, we've got some grapefruit tree seedlings here that got eaten and came back and I think it's grasshoppers that really go for these uh, so that's why I put a lot of stuff on the patio we got a little bit of grasshopper pressure here now and uh, not too many moths I didn't see I think they're all in the field of red uh, cedar vine that's across the fence. I think a lot of moths are over there, so that's good. I didn't see many today, so I might not do the BT treatment today. Uh, a couple more pepper plants. Got some peppers on here. I'm, I might move those onto the patio so they get more sun. This one might be the Aji Dulce. Those uh, pepper that was recommended for Florida, that's got a few peppers of a different shape on it now. But anyhow, we have been pulling from our more peppers, eggplant, eh, not doing so good. Probably need to move that away from the trellis since there's no sun now. Lettuce has been, since our temperature, oh yeah, let's see what the temperature is. I'm going to make some hoops with this PEX piping for on top of my new containers. It is 83 degrees, looks like, at 5 p.m. I think it reached about 87, 88 degrees today. And this is going to go into the new compost pile here. These bags... I take cardboard and put it at the bottom of the compost pile when I empty it and start a new one. And I don't really cut my grass. I, I haven't really cut my grass like I wanted to because the first order of business is to uh, empty a compost pile. They're all full. So we're still working on the containers and a, I got to put a bracket on here because I'm going to do bucket drip irrigation and I will mount the bracket made out of wood uh, into those holes 
and I figured out that does take a quarter inch. I'll probably use threaded rod and bolts and washers to mount the bracket that I'm going to build onto the, each one will have a bucket. So I don't have to stand there and uh, I can put fertilizer in that water as well. Uh, tomatoes here always look a little squirrely at the top. I don't know what goes on there. But they are not, they have not got my best time involved in that since I started doing the peppers. Got a couple onions here. And, uh, yep, those are still going all through the summer. So I might take a look at that soil. I think I might have uh, grubs in my soil, which that's easy to take care of. I believe there's a BT that is for uh, grubs. So when we empty those containers, I'll be looking for grubs. Like the tomato container, if I empty that, I'll be looking for grubs. But tomatoes never really do well here. There's too much humidity, and I don't have them in a great spot because I'd rather leave my great spot now for peppers. So we're going back towards the uh, burn barrel. Had some uh, seeds planted back here, and something came and dug them up. I don't know what. Curious raccoons. I hope there's a lot of possums because the ticks are were a little bit out of control, especially during the heat. So today we got to the bottom of this, my smallest compost pit. And we're going to put the cardboard there. Like I make a layer, maybe prevent some weeds, you know, and then hope it gets rained on. But yeah, that's what we had so far this today. And usually always the banana tree goes into the compost pile. But all of the grass clippings now are going to go in that empty one and it will be sky high i was kind of waiting for green giant arborvitaes are totally established and doing very well i think i oop, i need to deadhead my roses but i think i watered them a couple times this year and they're just fine they're very big back here must have used or or they they just have room here the soil must be softer than it is in the parking lot oh we're getting a little powdery mildew on our magnolia oh that's bad that's really bad and we got another sucker on the magnolia coming up from the center here Oh boy, maybe I should spray this with something. I might be. Jane Magnolia was so beautiful this year. But the heat and the... Whew, gosh knows what's going on with this. Well, that's not good. Not good. So yeah, at the burn barrel back there, we will be doing more biochar... You know, and I got plenty of sweet gum wood to drag over there and make some biochar for that new compost pile also. So, oh, Jane Magnolia, I wonder what's going on with that. I did water it, maybe too much, but I had...